I'm Mark Allen Powell from Trinity Lutheran Seminary, and I'm going to talk with you today about social location and biblical interpretation. Social location refers to those various factors that identify one person as distinct from others in society, such as age, gender, race, economic status, nationality, marital status, and so on. Uh, scholars have long paid attention to the social location of the gospel authors. They've asked whether the author of any one of our four gospels was Jewish or Gentile, whether the person was educated, what their uh, economic class might have been, whether they lived in the uh, diaspora or one of the larger Roman cities or in more rural areas. Recently, scholars have started to pay more attention to the social location of biblical readers. They say now that Bible stories, even when rightly, properly interpreted, may have different meaning for people with different social locations. The same Bible story means something different to women than it does to men something different to adults than it does to adolescents or to children, and so forth. I have an example of this using the story of the prodigal son, well-known parable of Jesus found in chapter 15 of Luke's Gospel. Actually, I'm only looking at the first part of that parable, in which the Man has two sons. One of the sons asks for his share of the inheritance. He goes to a far country. And he ends up in a pig pen, starving and wishing that he could eat the pods that the pigs eat. I shared this story with seminary students in three different countries and asked them the question, why does the young man end up starving in the pig pen? In the United States, almost everybody, over 90% of the students answered, writing their answer on an index card, because he squandered his property, his inheritance. He spent all the money that his father had given him. Uh, the, indeed, the Bible says that. He squandered his property in dissolute living, is what it says in the New Revised Standard version, uh, translation of that passage. So that was an answer that I clearly expected, and maybe it's the answer that you would have given as well. But then I had the opportunity to teach for a time in St. Petersburg, Russia. And while I was there, I did the same experiment. I asked the students, why does the young man end up starving in the pig pen? And about 80% of the students wrote something different on the index cards. They wrote, because there was a famine. I'll admit that I had actually forgotten about the famine, but it's right there in the story in Luke chapter 15. Jesus telling the parable says the young man went to a far country and a severe famine came upon the land. This was after he had squandered all of his possessions and dissolute living. So squandering the possessions was a factor, but the famine was a factor as well. And not a single one of my American students had mentioned the famine. Do you know what happened in St. Petersburg, Russia in the 20th century? In the 1940s during World War II, the German army laid siege to the city of St. Petersburg and no food was allowed into that city for a period of about three years. During that time, 600,000 people starved to death, one out of every four people in the city. This is a social location where the mention of a famine in a story is a very prominent detail. Then I got the opportunity to teach New Testament for a time in Tanzania, East Africa, and I decided I would try the same experiment with those students to find out if they were more like the Americans or the Russians. 
I asked him the question and waited to see how many of them would write because he squandered his possessions or how many would write because there was a famine in the land. Some of them did write one or the other of those answers, but actually a good number of the students wrote something completely different. About 80% of them wrote on their index cards when I asked, why did the young man end up starving in the pig pen? They wrote, because no one gave him anything to eat. If you look up Luke chapter 15 in your Bibles now, you will see that indeed it says that. It says the young man went to the far country, squandered all of his possessions, a severe famine came upon the land, but no one gave him anything to eat. The Tanzanians noticed the last point and were shocked by the inhospitality of a country without honor, a country that would not carry care for a stranger or an immigrant in their midst. That's an example of what we mean by social location, how people in different contexts notice different details in the biblical story and it affects why that story continues to be a living word that speaks to them today. <music>